Hi, I'm Dave from Blocker and I wanted to share with you something that has been in the news a lot over the last couple of years. How your contactless cards might be at risk from theft. Contactless cards are really convenient, but there are three ways that your card details might be stolen, which we're going to show you in this video. We've also got some handy tips about how you can protect your cards. So let's look at the first way that your card details might be stolen, and that's by using a mobile phone. With the right app installed, it's possible for your card details to be read by a mobile phone. If you leave your purse or wallet on a table, or in your back pocket, you might be at risk. Can you see how quickly card details can be read? The second method of stealing your car details is by using a contactless payment terminal. Many small businesses use contactless payment terminals. Unfortunately, these can also be used by thieves to take money directly from a card. Again, the greatest risk is having your wallet in your back pocket, left on a table, or holding your wallet or card when you are in a queue. As you can see, it takes less than a second to take a payment. The maximum that can be taken is currently £30, but this can add up if you have several cards. Less people are now checking bank statements, so a lot of these payments go unnoticed. The third way that your card details can be stolen is through a concealed attack. A criminal will use a high-powered scanner within a rucksack, which can extract payment information, like you saw on the mobile phone test earlier. But rather than take a one-off payment, this takes all the payment information, allowing for larger scale fraud days or even weeks later. So, what can you do to protect yourself? First, always be aware where your cards are. Don't leave your wallet or your purse on a table and don't keep your wallet in your back pocket. Secondly, always check your bank statements. Not many people check their bank statements these days, partly because we make so many payments with our cards and there are so many entries to look at. However, that's what makes it easy for a £20 or a £30 payment to get missed. The third way to protect yourself is to protect yourself before your details are even taken. If you check our YouTube channel, you'll see we've put a video together showing you five ways in which you can block scanners and readers from taking your details in the first place. We'll show you one of those ways now, using an RFID blocking card which you can place inside your wallet to protect your contactless cards. Let's try reading the card details again using a mobile phone, but this time with a blocking card inserted. As you can see, the card cannot be read. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or would like us to do any other videos, please use the comments below and we'll get right back to you. And don't forget to check out our other videos too. Thanks for watching.